Hello everyone. Today is Thursday, January 29th edition of Living Life. You know, there's a lot of teachings out there and we have gone through a lot of learning uh, in life. You know, from kindergarten all the way up to elementary, junior high, high school, college. There's always people trying to constantly teach us something and get deeper into knowledge. But above all the things that I have learned, there's nothing that excites me more than the teachings of Jesus. Especially now that I am thinking even deeper and deeper about life, I've come to realize that the teachings of Jesus, man, that's the thing that really pumps my heart and gets me excited. And there's, you know, a lot of preachers out there, but there's um, a few, you know, everybody has their favorite preachers, right? But there's a few that I like to, you know, listen to. And one of the preachers, his name is Alistair Begg. And the reason why I love him so much is he, man, he really goes deep into the scriptures. You can tell he is reading, he is meditating, and then he is going out and preaching the things that the Lord has revealed to him. And let me tell you, there is no limit to the depth of Jesus' teaching. The more you meditate upon it, the more you study it, the deeper and deeper the Lord wants to teach you. And that is exactly what's going on right now in Jesus' public ministry. He is going deep into the teachings and people are amazed about what is coming out of the mouth of Jesus. So let's get into that text right now. John chapter 7 verses 14 through 24 Not until halfway through the feast did Jesus go up to the temple courts and begin to teach. The Jews were amazed and asked, How did this man get such learning without having studied? Jesus answered, My teaching is not my own. It comes from him who sent me. If anyone chooses to do God's will, he will find out whether my teaching comes from God or whether I speak on my own. He who speaks on his own does so to gain honor for himself, but he who works for the honor of the one who sent him is a man of truth. There is nothing false about him. Has not Moses given you the law? Yet not one of you keeps the law. Why are you trying to kill me? You are demon-possessed, the crowd answered. Who is trying to kill you? Jesus said to them, I did one miracle, and you are all astonished. Yet, because Moses gave you circumcision, though actually it did not come from Moses but from the patriarchs, you circumcise a child on the Sabbath. Now if a child can be circumcised on the Sabbath so that the law of Moses may not be broken, Why are you angry with me for healing the whole man on the Sabbath? Stop judging by mere appearances and make a right judgment. So right now in John chapter 7 verse 14 through 24, what's going on is the fact that because Jesus did not want to make a a spectacle of himself and make himself publicly um, known to uh, all the people that are out there because he's trying to quietly lead his life. Uh, Jesus' brothers go before him to the festival and he secretly now uh, is slowly in undercover going to the festival himself. And he has reached the festival and the time has come when he starts slowly coming into the scene again. And now he is teaching, and he is teaching some amazing things. And people's minds are blown, the things that Jesus is saying. Because the scriptures and the Old Testament scriptures and the prophecies are now starting to come alive with the words of Christ. And here are some of the the things that the crowd is saying. Here in verse 15, the Jews were amazed and asked, How did this man get such learning without having been taught? And Jesus answered this, My teachings is not my own. It comes from the one who sent me. He's saying, Jesus is saying, I am not just speaking wisdom of man. I'm not just speaking concepts of religion or philosophy. I am speaking the very words of God who made this universe. That's powerful, folks. 
you know, there's a lot of philosophies out there. There's a lot of teachings out there. There's a lot of religious teachings out there, religions. And, you know, you come into some of these teachings, but the most profound statements come from Jesus. And we know some of his teachings as we get into more and more deep into his teachings, how profound and mind-blowing they are. Now, the things that I really want to challenge you guys is, first and foremost, are you seeking the depth of Jesus' teaching? Are you seeking this profundity? Because it's there. His profound teachings are absolutely there. Now, um, I am giving you a devotion here in this library here. Uh, like, this is our, our small church library, and if I know the camera, you know, we don't have the opportunity to show uh, what this room looks like, but there is um, thousands of books here. And um, are you seeking moments where you desire to learn more in depth about God's Word? Are you finding yourselves in the library, taking books, taking commentaries, and really going in, and really going deep into various passages and various statements of Christ. Uh, this is something that needs to be a part of our desire, part of our hunger, because there's so much depth to Jesus' word. You know, sometimes we just take it for granted because we have the word and we just, oh yeah, that's a... That's a nice statement. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. I mean, there's more to it than that, folks. There's more to it when you start getting into uh, the depth of God's, Jesus' word. What you will find is it'll start grounding you. It'll start confirming you. It'll start making you feel so confident that Jesus truly indeed is Christ because there's no other words or teachings or philosophies or statements that can compare to the deep, rich words of Christ. And that's why the people were saying, man, I'm blown away by his teaching. Are you blown away by Jesus' teaching? Are you going to the different avenues where you can listen to the deep teachings of Christ? On top of that, though, uh, there is something that is uh, also interesting that is going on here. Um, he is going on and he is trying to teach the folks, uh, the people here, um, you are seeing the things that I'm doing and some of you guys are confused and you guys are judging me. You're not understanding what I'm trying to say to you. Uh, some of the Pharisees and Sadducees were completely confused about what Jesus was, was doing. One of the things he's teaching about a miracle that he is doing on the Sabbath. He, Jesus said to him in verse 21, Jesus said to them, I did one miracle and you are all ama amazed. And this is uh, a healing that he does in John chapter 5, uh, healing on a Sabbath. Yet, because Moses gave you circumcision through actually, it did not come from Moses, but from the patriarchs. You circumcise a boy on the Sabbath. Now if a boy can be circumcised on the Sabbath so that the law of Moses may not be broken, why are you angry with me for healing a man's whole body on the Sabbath? He says, stop judging by mere appearances, but instead judge correctly. And you know, this is something that we often also do as Christians because we don't understand the depth of Jesus' teaching. Sometimes we start judging incorrectly. Uh, oftentimes we Inappropri unappropriately and misjudgingly, uh, um, we, we judge people by the looks, uh, their appearances. Uh, sometimes somebody uh, that looks a little bit differently, maybe they have tattoos or you know, maybe they have different kinds of haircuts or they look differently, they enter into the church. Immediately we think they're from the world or they're uh, you know, somebody who is in sin and we kind of you know, move away from them. No, um, these people could be people who are deeply in tune with Jesus. Oftentimes we uh, judge by the color Cover, the more we get into the understanding of Christ, we will not judge by the cover. Rather, we will have the ability, the understanding to be able to judge properly.
So today we highlighted two things. The first thing that we highlighted was the fact that Jesus' word is so profound and so deep and so rich. The question I have for you is, are you going to those places to investigate and to really be able to go deep into Jesus' word? For example, are you finding yourself in libraries like this? going and going into a, a, a little cubicle and, and going deep into Jesus' word. I really encourage you guys to do that if you guys haven't been doing that. Secondly, I want to encourage you that as we get deeper into Jesus' word, that we would be able to have a clearer sense of Jesus' teaching, that we may be able to judge things properly and that we may be able to see things clearly. I know as you get deeper into Jesus' teaching, there are things that are mysterious. Uh, really being able to say, Lord, could you teach me these things, these mysterious things of yours, so that I can go even deeper into understanding what your heart is all about. And there are things that the Lord will really, truly challenge you. And as you go into that, I guarantee you, you will uh, really have the ability to clearly see things and judge appropriately and to be able to live a life that is consistent with Jesus' heart. So with that, I want to pray and I want to bless that the Lord comes upon you, that you may be a person that really is deep in the, the learnings and the teachings of Jesus. Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that all the viewers today that have come into this lesson, that you would deeply touch their life, that you would profoundly impact them with your teachings, and that they would get deeper into your word. Lord, give them a desire to go into the libraries, go into the rooms and really dig their nose into the word. Also, I pray, Lord God, that you would give them the ability to have the wisdom to judge and to really be able to see things clearly, Lord, that uh, the things that they exercise or the things that they say would come straight from your heart and straight from the depths of your word. So we pray your blessings upon each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen.